I've got a bit of a chest infection, so at the moment I've just really, really got to take it easy while we're rehearsing um, because I need to save it for the tour. So, Glenn, who's going to be our tour manager, um, his girlfriend, Sneakily, gave me these um, throat drinks and um, apparently Glenn nicked them from um, Liam Gallagher's dressing room. So I've been drinking them for the past two days and they are absolutely disgusting. They've been thrown in the deep end more than any band I've ever worked with. I haven't learnt the journey of waking up, doing a gig, doing a rehearsal, doing a tour. They've just gone straight from nothing, no experience of being on the road. There you go, here's an arena tour which is very alien. If Frank were a regular rock and roll band, they would start by doing toilet tours and really building their, their stage craft. Whereas what, what's happened here is they've been, they've been thrown into this situation where they have to shine. They don't have the choice. It's literally, be brilliant. Be brilliant or have no career. Hayley, when I first met her, she could play a basic beat, but without any, it didn't, feel, it didn't sound and feel solid. We got her up to speed with lots and lots of rehearsals. She's learned to sing and play drums. Now that's very tricky. Sing and play drums whilst listening to a click track to keep you perfectly in time. Now that's very, very tricky. So to do all those three, and now stand up. It's ridiculous. It's... But she's done it. She's really put the hours in, and you can see by her hands, her hands are, are knackered. This is what nine hours a day does to your hands. Lovely, isn't it? My first impression of Bryony was... I thought she had it. I instantly saw uh, someone like Charlotte from Ash in her. I was like, OK, she looks cool. I, I lowered her guitar down. That was the first thing we did. You come from a real folky background where you'll sing into your mic and you'll play, play your chords and that's, that's her journey. But as I'm trying to explain, in an arena, when she's got a, a huge stage to walk around, walk around, saunter around, make it look as though you're at home. It's got to sound like death. <laughs> Helena is the one who's had to come, come and show me a lot of the things. Because she wants to make sure the backing tracks are right. I thought she was a keyboard player until I sat down and made them do acoustic rehearsals and hear this amazing piano being played. She's now realised that she doesn't want to just be a pop keyboard player, she wants to have the skills to go and do everything. But she's got the skills. I've left Lauren until the final 100 metres. The first week I sat her down and said, OK, tell me your influences. That's when she told me about Annie Lennox and um, Marilyn Manson, you know, and I was thinking, God, this is cool. Then I explained to her, these five songs in this tour, you can choose one of those people to, to, to you know, turn into a chameleon and be Annie Lennox for this song, be Beyonce for this song, be Karen O for this, you know. Mix up your characters. So when you mix up your characters in rehearsals, you'll find who you feel you like to be. You can hear our musical influences reflected in the music. Like, I really love um, UK hip-hop. Hayley really likes rock music and stuff like that. Um, Brian is like listening to Raina Montagna a lot at the moment and Lauren loves her like soul and house music. When we were making the album, we co-wrote seven of the tracks on there. It's melodic, it's edgy, it's electro, it's hip hop, it's drum and bass, it's all those little flavours like put into these tracks.
gonna do a gig on Tuesday, a little low-key gig. And I think that will possibly be scarier than the first gig arena we do at Nottingham because you're gonna have, you're gonna be able to see everybody and uh, everyone's gonna be able to hear every note. It's gonna be either make or break that night. When we were doing the series and stuff, you know, we were playing then. But it's in such a different setting, you know, where you're doing takes. Can we just take that again? Can we pick it up from the middle of the song and just do that bit? And, you know, can you look towards Tasha when you're singing that line or whatever, you know? So it's a completely different environment. This will be the first audience that we've played to as Frank. I'm not shy on Monday. OK, can we hear guitar? Is that running? Yeah, I'm not actually coming through, though. It'll all work out. It will all work out in the end. And then, yeah, and then they're starting to let people in now. I was about to. It's just like it's just like thinking, why is my guitar not working? Can't hear anything. You know when um, um, never left a girl. You know when it comes to the chorus, it's E then A then B then F. Is it? It's what you've always played. Don't panic. You know it. I couldn't tell you to be honest because I just yeah, it is that. You yeah, know you know what it is. Okay. Let's do let's do him um, closer to me just as a little warm up. Yes, yeah. just, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. so just leave it on stage. Yeah. 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 Probably just because we're all nervous. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Just keep everything calm. Yeah. yeah. We'll be. We've yes. done it. How many times have we done it? Yes. A million. Yes. 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 Yeah. Let's go and rock the shower. Let's go and show yeah. couples of what we can do, girls. They're going to go touring with Girls Aloud on Monday night, but first we want to hear them live here. Will you welcome to the stage Lauren, Helena, Haley, and Bryony? They are Frank! <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah. yeah. But I think that was 
we were all so nervous and just full of adrenaline that it was just kind of like, by the third song, we really got into it. Yeah. Expecting that, you've been brilliant. I was like, yes! I am packing now um, for the tour. Nottingham is our first venue. Um, the first time people are going to see us as Frank, as the band, hear us sing, hear our music, see the way we perform. Um, so it's really, really important. This is going to be life changing and I just really, really hope it's a good life change and, you know, brings me happiness and, you know, success and that is all I want. We were meant to be doing like university tours and I remember sitting in the office of Polly John just going, yeah, yeah, cool, wicked. And then the next thing they're like, oh, you're going to go and tour with Girls Aloud. And then you just kind of get this sense of like, oh my God, that means Frank as a band has got access to so many fans straight away we're going to be able to tap into all of Girls Aloud audience which just means when the single comes out we've already made such a big start because we've all have tapped into all those fans so it's it's nuts. This is our moment to really make all the hard work that we put into it work and um, all those hours of drumming that I've done um, it's my moment to actually like enjoy the benefits of it. Tomorrow morning we are getting on the tour bus and it is all going to kick off and for the past few weeks it's like yeah yeah you know we're doing this tour but it hasn't felt real by any means whereas now it, it really does i feel totally unprepared <laughs> Tour, the day has finally arrived. They have given us rules for the bus. You're not allowed to um, have people staying in night on the bus. Aren't meant to be on the bus. Um, you can't you can't pass solids on the bus because <laughs> if you do, the driver has to. Quite gross if you delicate stomach don't listen to this. He has to um, put his hand up into the tank and take it out. We have an offender who's put toilet paper down there, oh. and now she oh. is going to pick it out of the bog. <laughs> Come on then. Here she goes. Oh, she just think what that hand's gonna be. <laughs> Make oh, it go. You, know, you can't pick and choose when the camera's on. Oh, no, I can't do it. I can't. Here's your punch, Ricky. Oh, Get your hand in there. Put that pussy paper in there. Make the camera go. 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 Make Right, welcome to the first tour bus. Um, Nottingham is going to be so exciting. It's just going to be immense because we'll have been on that bus for the first time. We'll have been in our dressing room for the first time. It's just going to be an absolute blast because everything's going to be so new. This is the biggest thing we've ever done. We're not even going to be able to see the majority of the audience because there's just going to be far too many of them. It's going to be the first time to see how we get received, you know, will anybody actually know who we are? Will we be bothered about the music or will they just carry on eating the popcorn? Fingers crossed it all just goes quite smoothly because I know it won't go straight forward, but hopefully we'll get through it. <laughs> 